All right, we get to Friday action in the NBA, starting with the West-leading Minnesota Timberwolves taking on the sixth-place Suns. Phoenix won their first matchup this season by 18 in November. They're favored by four and a half tonight. Coming off a 23-point win over Houston last night, their sixth straight dub, the Warriors are five-and-a-half-point dogs in Dallas. Golden State, though, 19-9 and ATS this season in the underdog role. The Bucs, they're 15-and-a-half-point favorites at home against the Raptors. Why? Because Toronto is 6-15 and ATS since the All-Star break. Worst in the association. Milwaukee, though, they have lost back-to-back -back games. So, Aaron, is this a good spot for the Bucs to bounce back? Yes, in the first quarter. That's okay. the only way I'm looking at this game. Bucks minus five and a half in the first quarter. It is the best bet, guys. I was going to go with UConn, and I was like, you know what? I really, really love this play. They should be absolutely embarrassed after what happened the last two games. They lost as double-digit favorites outright. You lost to Memphis. You lost to the Washington Wizards. <laughs> they are atrocious. Now, the Toronto Raptors are also pretty tragic as well. Their last game, they just lost by 48 points to Minnesota. Timberwolves never forget Joe Formball said to take them with the points, not to call him out when he's not on the set. But I do think that this is one of these areas in which the first quarter they can really jump out. It's at four and a half now. It's actually coming down, so I like it even more there. Yeah, I mean, I love the handicap. It makes all the sense in the world. This Bucks team, though, has been kind of like hard to figure out. And you mentioned two well, bad losses seven and three recently. against the spread in the first quarter, the last okay. two games at least. At least jump it's a out trend early. that's what they should do. Some what they should do. Uh, big matchup in the Western Conference tonight. I mentioned the T Wolves and the Suns. The total has plummeted. Opened it at 220 and a half. Aaron, it's down down to 216 and a half, which is kind of surprising because last time these squads met, they soared way over this, like 250 points. That's because Phoenix scored a buck 33 on their own. They shot 60% from the field, 50% from deep. Borrow from our buddy Joe Fortenbaugh, who's not here. Regression is coming. So don't be afraid of what we saw last. I think Minnesota playing for that one spot in the West and Phoenix trying to avoid the play-in or jockey themselves correctly. This will be a semi-kind of playoff-type atmosphere with measured possessions and intense defense. And Minnesota, embarrassed by what Phoenix did to him last time out, a buck 33 on the scoreboard. I'll go under despite not getting near the best of that number.